so I'm gonna have to go outside. Yeah. breakfast. This is ready. Breakfast! <laughs> oh my gosh, I probably look like I'm crying and my allergies are kind of acting up right now. So uh, they're like kind of watery. So I probably look like I was just like walking out of the closet from crying alone. But it's just allergies. What's she doing? Yeah. Oh my gosh. I come. <laughs> what you doing? <laughs> In the bathroom? I'm pacing and replying to comments. Yeah. I happen to pace my way into the bathroom. The export is almost done. I have about a minute left and then I can go ahead and upload it to YouTube. I'm so excited. This was at the uh, place we're staying at in Galveston. So this is my tutorial for Adore You by Harry Styles. So as soon as this is done, as soon as this blue line is at 100%, this video is going up on YouTube. Well, it's going up, but it won't be public yet. It'll just, you know. What are, you, what are you doing? You're blocking the camera. <laughs> this isn't gonna work like this. <laughs> He's just completely in front of my shot. He's not moving. Oh no, do you love Michelle? Do you just love Michelle? I'm like trying to move him. <laughs> He's not. Cone, you wanna go lay on the porch? All right, doing this travel thing, I have learned a few things about packing. If you were to ask my dad about how I would pack for vacation and family trips in the past for just like, you know, a week going somewhere to Florida or wherever, I would overpack. And I feel like that's something most people do. I feel like most people overpack, but for good reason, you know, changing weather conditions. But I am doing something that I have never done before in my life, and that is living entirely out of a suitcase. I feel like that sounds like a bit of an exaggeration. I'm not technically living in a, you know, out of a suitcase. I am living <laughs> in a house. But um, Cody and I are traveling month to month to different places just all around the country, and Essentially, we are living out of our suitcases. Everything that we have with us is in a suitcase or a bag, and there have just been a few things that I have learned along the way. I'm gonna show you guys what's in my suitcase, what I have been bringing with me, and just kind of going through 
things that I have been using a lot and things I have not really been using as much or at all. The number one thing that we needed to do was to pack as light as possible because we are taking Cody's car and it has a decent amount of trunk space but we can't really pack too much in the back seat because Kona, Cody's dog, takes the back seat whenever we're traveling somewhere. So we have a system that we make work really, really well, but we can only fit two full suitcases, a couple bags, and then we each have a guitar with us. And then Cody actually just got a travel guitar sent to him at the last place that we were at. So technically three guitars for right now. But even though I feel like I did a really good job at keeping things light, I have found that there are a few things that really didn't need to pack but I did overpack just a little bit because we were in Texas for a bit on the coast and it was a little bit warmer here but now we are back in the Midwest and it's winter it's really cold so I wanted to make sure I had a little bit of everything just in case and we didn't know if we we're gonna go somewhere hot so I brought you know like a bikini and some shorts and things like that but I'm just gonna go ahead and open my suitcase and we're just gonna go through everything first off if I get any questions about my suitcase it is from Tommy Bahama which, goodness, like, some of their stuff is not cheap, but I have a Nordstrom rack near where I live, and they had this on clearance. So, originally, get this, like, I still have the price tag on it. Like, I'm so bad. I need to take the price tag off this. Originally, this suitcase, it says comparable value $320. I got it for $89. 71% savings. That's amazing. I would never pay $320 for a suitcase. That's just... That's insane. This is really cute. I love it because it's this light blush pink color. That's fun. I think most suitcases do that. Um, but the wheels are really cute because they have like gold plated looking wheels. I've never had my own suitcase before. I've always just used, you know, suitcases that my family has had in the basement and stuff like that. So I wanted to have my very own suitcase. So got that Nordstrom rack. This keychain right here says Michelle. And then in Hawaii, and my name is Mikala. Cody actually got this for me when he went to Hawaii, so I put it on my suitcase. All right, I'm gonna give you guys an overview shot and then we'll just kind of quickly go through everything. All right, the top part here is a little messy just because I threw this in here and then I've just been kind of going through here because there's no drawers at this place to store like, you know, underwear and socks. So I've just been keeping all my underwear and socks in here. We don't need to go through that side. But under here are all of the clothes that I brought myself. So I have a pair of black leggings here. It's just something really cozy that I can wear and dress up, dress down. I'm actually wearing a pair of leggings now, just super cozy. I have a random plastic bag in here. Actually, plastic bags are always good to carry with you for dirty laundry, anything like that. I have one pair of jeans. I just make sure that whatever jeans I'm bringing will just go with anything that I have in my suitcase. Some other things that I have. I have lots of Kona hair on me. I have lots of different t-shirts for different purposes. So I have ones that like I'll lounge or work out in. I have ones that I will wear with jeans and kind of dress up a little bit. I have some t-shirts here that I haven't worn. Like I haven't worn this black t-shirt. I haven't worn this white one or this white one or this white one. I expected the coast to just be a little bit warmer, but it wasn't warm enough yet. And I didn't know if we were gonna go somewhere else that was possibly even warmer than that. So I brought a few extra t-shirts just cause I wanted to have some easy interchangeable options and t-shirts really don't take up too much space. And then I have one pair of workout leggings and then I have a workout bra somewhere that I wear with it but just one workout outfit. I have a couple of dresses. These are long sleeve dresses and I brought a pair of thigh high boots to go with both dresses. I have not worn these dresses on any of this traveling just yet but I brought them in case you know if we're gonna go out somewhere nice or you know, meet up with some family or friends. So I just want to have a couple of like nice options that I can dress up or I can dress down. So one of the biggest things I tried to make sure that I was doing was when I was packing was to be as versatile as possible. Find pieces that can be multi-purposeful. So this is one of those pieces. These are just like some long dresses um, that I got at Old Navy. And they're just long sleeve dresses that I can just pair with some boots or you know whatever other shoes that I want to and they can be either really casual or really dressy just depending on how I accessorize them and then I brought at least one cardigan I brought some pullovers I have like the striped one and then I have a blue one somewhere I think it's in the laundry bin because I think I gotta wash it and I brought one 
thick hoodie with me. So that was something I just made sure to have is at least one really good thick warm hoodie. Then I did bring a pair of high-waisted shorts just in case we're going to be anywhere near the beach. We were, but it just wasn't warm enough. So I had those just in case. Something that I have not worn yet was this plaid shirt. I don't, I really don't know why I brought this. We are going to be closer to home the next place that we stay and I'm going to change out a lot of these clothes. Um, just kind of for our next round of traveling because the season will be changing. On this side, I have one of my favorite cold shoulder sweaters. You guys have probably seen this in some of my videos. It's just a cold shoulder sweater. It looks really cute with jeans. This is actually a dress that I have yet to wear on my travels, but I'm going to be keeping it with me because it's a really chill, just like hoodie dress that I can wear with my thigh highs. Then I have a pair of shorts for the beach. They're a little bit shorter, but they're just specifically just for going to the beach. I do have a camisole to go with my shorts. And then I brought one of my favorite t-shirts. I've worn this in quite a few videos. You guys have probably seen me wear this one before. I got this at Express and I love it because it ties at the bottom. And then I have some sleeping shorts in here. So that is what is in my suitcase. So right now I'm gonna put my suitcase away in the closet, but I'm also gonna show you guys a little bit of the closet because more of the stuff is in here. I have my fall winter boots. These are just a nice thick pair of thick boots that I just wear over jeans or leggings. These are my over the knee thigh highs and I typically wear these with my dresses. And then over here I have a random pair of socks that I took off earlier just so I can wear my slippers because they're super cozy. And here's just like some guitar cleaner or stuff like that, like a cloth for cleaning my guitar. I have my Keds, which I have not yet worn. I thought I was gonna wear them when we were near the coast, but I just didn't end up wearing them because I only wear them with my shorts. And then over here, here I have my Nikes, which I have worn a lot. I wear these a ton whenever we're traveling in the car. If we are taking Kona for a walk, if we are just kind of going somewhere where I just want to throw on some comfy tennis shoes. These little booties right here, I've worn quite a bit and they just go so well with a pair of jeans or leggings and I usually cuff my pants whenever I wear these and they're just super cute. They're just more of like a little fashion shoe. So I have a total of five pairs of shoes with me. I've worn these the most, these the most, have not worn these yet, have not worn those yet, and then I've worn those a lot. And then also in here I have my winter coat because we are back in the Midwest where it is cold. And then we just have some of like our filming gear and stuff like that. This is all Cody stuff here. That's like his suitcase his guitar, his backpack with some of our stuff in there. That's my tripod. Um, we have a baking sheet <laughs> that we brought with us just because we literally paid a dollar for it at the dollar store and we like to bake a lot of cookies. And just in case a place we went to didn't have a baking sheet, we have a baking sheet. And then this bag over here is my Journey guitar case, which I already have my guitar out and assembled, but I just have the bag here in the closet. So I'm actually just gonna put it here on this luggage rack. I love when places have luggage racks, it's amazing. Pretty much aside from all of our, you know, filming gear and everything like that, we don't really have much with us. My Journey guitar is right over here in the corner. And then this bag is also mine. This is my computer bag. I have my laptop over here with my headphones. Just all the things I need for work. So we really didn't bring too much with us. The only other thing that we have with us besides Kona are just some books and things like that. We have books just kind of scattered all around the place. So whenever we feel like we want to read, we have those. This is actually the book I'm reading now. It's called Start Something That Matters by Blake Mykowski. It is an amazing book. I highly recommend it. And I'm about halfway through so far it's just been an incredible read i think the only other thing that i would add is that it's teaching me that in my life even outside of traveling just to keep things light not to hold on to things that i don't need and, and hoard things i used to be really bad at hoarding things when i was younger i started letting go of things and, and getting rid of the clutter it's making me think about going back home and literally just purging my space because I just don't need a lot of things. I just I just don't and it feels really good to just not have a lot of things. So Cody is used to living um I don't know, you're used to like living light and living out of a suitcase and so you're more so like you're just used to that kind of thing. Yeah. You've done it a lot. We traveling back and forth to see Michelle right whenever we very first met and very first started dating. Um, I was traveling back and forth a lot, a lot like that, but I was also taking a lot of trips kind of month to month and stuff like that, going out to Florida to see friends and all that quite a bit. And I've been traveling and keeping things light for quite a while. So I'm a little bit more used to it and I already kind of, I'm, I'm, I wouldn't consider myself necessarily a minimalist, but I have practiced um, and gotten a lot better about just not 
being super attached to a lot of things. Mm -hmm. So right now I have two guitars with me, which is more than I need, but I have two guitars with me. I have my suitcase and I've got Kona and everything that he needs. <laughs> Are you gonna come up here? Come on, buddy. You coming? Come on. Ew. <laughs> <laughs> come on, let's go. Let's go. <laughs> oh my goodness. <laughs> but as long as I've got Kona, Michelle, a guitar, my camera stuff, and a couple of pairs of clothes. That's all I need. That's all I need to be happy. Me and Michelle have had some very good, cool, in-depth conversations about it because she's kind of figuring out the same thing is that she, she needs a lot less than she thinks she does and I'm even figuring that same thing out every day even more than I already had, so. I just, I'm, I'm learning that I just, I don't need a lot. It feels really, really good. And I'm, I'm excited, but also like slightly overwhelmed, just like I said about the idea of going back home and just like seeing a lot of stuff and be like, I don't need all these things. So yeah, whether that's just like posh marking some clothes or like donating it and even like some of the guitars down the road, like I don't need all of those guitars. Like some of those guitars back at home, I still need to like do some things with some different projects um, that I want to do just cause I have different guitars, you know, for different reasons, but you know, I just know eventually down the road at some point, I just don't need like all of them. There's just, there's just so much, but, um, I'm really excited to just keep traveling around with Cody and Kona and just keep experiencing, you know, living light. So I think what I'm going to do is I'm going to update you guys just kind of just along the journey and share with you guys my experience of traveling light, living out of a suitcase, things that I am learning how to make packing and traveling more efficient, lighter, easier, uh, little hacks that I learned along the way and share those with you guys. So let me know if you're interested in that. And if you have any questions about what we're doing, just, you know, traveling different places month to month and, um, you know, how we're just, you know, learning and figuring things out along the way. Cause it's definitely been a huge learning process. So I'm going to end the vlog right here just because it's nighttime right now. We're probably going to start making dinner and edit the vlog and then work on a few other things. And I didn't get my video up today. So I still have to finish some things with that. That's going to be it for today's vlog. Thank you so much for hanging out and see you next time.